me good here with hell one time so take God is good God is good all the time. My name is Sammy Pierre Space the Ride. I'm gonna give you a word on tonight, on today. Um we still in Esther, you know, um Monica um uh, persuade Esther for help. Now you know we talked yesterday or the other day. We had talked about that um <coughs> that Hammond wants to kill Monica and all of the Jews. You know, but he never had talked to Esther yet. You know, so he now he about to talk to um Esther, you know, uh, about helping him, you know, not helping him, helping him, but talk to the king. You know, and this is a situation, you know, you God is you know, God is not mentioned in, in this book, in this package here, but we know God is involved. You know, God God taking God have Esther, you know, gonna use Esther in a way. You know, she thinks she just got in to be a beauty queen. You know, and sometimes, sometimes you might, you might be at a certain place and you might think it's a coincidence. You know, because God already knew what situation going to go out. You know, so he, he already started staging stuff. You know, to have to put you where you need to be at. You know, because you know her cousin raised her. You know, and he was the one, you know, so I introduced him and like, you know, they got a passion going on. You know, know somebody that's beautiful. That's all God does. You know, having him to meet God will help you meet the right people to get you what he needs you to be at. You know, so this pregnancy is going to come from Esther chapter 4, 1 through 17. So now I have a plot to destroy all the Jews and Monica. You know, so now um, Monica. And now he will try to persuade Esther to help. You know, me to talk to talk to your husband, your king. You know, so now Mordecai, you know, he learned of all that had been done. You know, so so he, he had torn his clothes, you know, uh torn his clothes loudly, bitter, you know, so now he know Hammond telling him what he gonna do to him and all his people. You know, so the king came, and there was a great morning. You know, morning for all the Jews. They, they morning, they, they fasting and they, they weeping and, and, and everything. Cause he hadn't went and told Jews. He went and told all them too. You know, so now he, he weeping. He, he's shouting loud. You know, because he trying to figure out what he gonna do next. You know, because he feel bad that it's about him, but now. This man want to kill all his people, and they don't have nothing to do with what's going on between him and him. Mordecai, mourning and weeping, you know, uh, <coughs> that Haman had went to want to kill him and all his people, you know, but he have not told Esther yet. He have not told Esther yet, or the king, you know. So now he just weeping. He trying to find out what he going to do next, you know. So when Esther and Eunice... You know, female attendant had came and told her about Monica. You know, she was in great distress, you know, and she sent clothes for him, but instead of his cycle, you know, but he did not want to accept. You know, he is, he is so much distressed right now. You know, so Monica, you know, uh, Monica, he did not want to accept anything from Esther. You know, so now Esther summoned um, had her. You know, one of the king units um, assigned to attend her and order him to find out what was troubling him. You know, so now, you know, Esther looking over there saying, you know, what's, what's wrong with him? You know, he look a little trouble. You know, I'm asking him if he wants some some clothes, you know, and he uh, he turned this in down, you know. So she going to send over there. I need you to go over there and find out, you know, what is the matter with him? What is troubling him? You know, because anytime he turns something down, you know, they live together. Anytime he turns something down, you know, she, she know he troubling about something. You know, so now Mordecai didn't want anything, you know. So now Esther wants to know what is troubling him. So had her, you know, had went out to Monica, you know, to open the square of the city. And then told him, you know, so, um, and, and so Esther sent him over there to talk to Monica, find out what's going on. You know, so when he got to Monica, he told him everything that had happened to him, including the uh, the, the, the money. You know, now you know uh, Hammond, he's already rich. You know, so he don't care how much it costs, you, you know, to set everything up to kill uh, Monica and all 
midst of all his people. So real treasury for destruction of Jews. Now Haman already rich, you know, so he didn't care how much it was to destroy all the Jews. Now he gave him a copy. They gave him a copy of the text, you know, of the, um, the end, you know, so now this, now this had been published, you know, so he to type everything up, making everything legal, you know, and got it published, you know, to show to Esther. You know, and explain to her, you know, uh, it to her. And he told him to instruct her to go to the king present to beg for mercy and plead for your life for these five people. Now, he, <clears throat> he gave, now he gave this man instruction. Remember, uh, Esther sent him over there to uh, Monica to find out what's going on. So it's a lot going on. He's going to be bringing back to her, you, you know. So it's going to be two things, you know. So he telling her. That Hammond wants to kill him and all our people. You know, the second thing he want um, him to send back to Esther, that you go to your husband, you go to your king, you plead for your life for our people. Plead to him, beg to him, you know, about our people. That he, he, that they about to Hammond wants to kill our people. And I need you to beg, I need you to plead, you know. So he said, give this instruction back to uh, um, Esther. <clears throat> now remember, Esther had sent, sent him over there to see what's troubling him. You know, and so he wound up and told him everything that had happened. You know, and he also gave instruction, you know, for Esther to go beg for mercy, you know, to the king to help us. You know, so now, now he reported this back to Esther, you know, and said, he said, he, well, he told me everything. He told me everything what is troubling him right now. You know, so Esther instructed him uh, to go back to my guy. See, back then, you know, they didn't have phones. They ain't had no phones and all this, you know, no tablets and computers and stuff. You know, they had to be going backwards and forward. You know, so now Esther giving him instruction, you know, to get back to um, to Monica. You know, so all the kings officially and all the, uh, the people of the royal prophecies know that for any man of a woman or a woman who approached, you know, the king, you know, <clears throat> in an anchor court without being summoned, the king had put one law, you know, that, that will put them to death unless the king attended a gold sculpture to them and spare their life. Now, now she have to talk to the king. You know, so you know, just like you know, Monica said, you gotta plead for your life. You no, know, she need everything clear. You know, I don't need nobody to keep running back and forward in there. You, you know, I need everything to be clear. You know, if you not summer, if you don't have no permit, I, I don't need nobody coming back here by the king. She got to keep all that clear. You know, because she about to get on her knees. She about to beg. She about to plead. She don't need, need nobody coming on um, up, up in there. You know, she said, if you have not been summer. You have not been uh have a apartment, you cannot come through here. And if you come through here, but I'll be in some, you will be put to death. So that's a law that she came up with. You know, so <clears throat> and that's a law that she gonna have to um deal with too. You, you know, because she gonna have to go see the king. She not gonna be some, she just gonna walk in. You know, so about thirty days. This gonna happen 30 days. 30 days, you know, have passed, you know, since I was called to go to the king. She never went to the king. Now, 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 um, Monica and, and, and her uh, attendant, they told her this information 30 days ago. That this, that this how she did, she prepared herself. You know, this is a big job she, she, she have to do. You know, now she went down to be a beauty queen, you, you know. And, and, and God set her there, you know, on her side. And she did she she didn't know. She didn't ask no question. You know, she just started getting stuff together. You know, getting stuff together. <clears throat> now Esther had told them to do not see the king unless you had been summoned. And now they let her know thirty days had in the past. Now thirty days in the past, you know, so now we, we still can't go see him. You know, so Esther had sent back answers. You know, do not think, you know, if because you are in a king house and you alone of all the Jews will escape. You know, so she said, just because y'all live in a king house, you know, you still got to buy by the roots. You know, even though 
Esther was the queen. And she shared some of the king power. You know, and well, she still needed God protection and wisdom. Now, now let me tell you this here. Just because you power, just because you got money, sickness, sickness still come on you. Guns will still come on you. Anything will still come on you. You know, but uh, just like she say, you know, it's nothing like God protection. You know, God protection. She said, she said, just because the, she said, I'm under the king power, you know, and his wealth, you know, but she still had to consult. She still had to pray to God because that's where her real protection come from. You know, the real spiritual protection come from because just because you're rich, you know, you wealthy and everything else, that's not going to block no blood. That's not going to block no sickness. That's not going to block nothing. The only thing that can take anything away from you is God with his power. You know, so that's what she's saying here. You know, the king power, his wealth, but she still needed God protection. You know, it was, you know, now she, she letting them know, you know, that no one is secure. You know, in his or her own strength. You know, none of us is secure in our own strength. So we don't even need to um, try. You know, just like she said, she, she powerful. She a queen. She under a king with his power, his wealth, all, all the money that they have. That cannot stop bullets. It cannot stop sickness. You know, just like she said, he or she. You know, we cannot be secure in our own strength. You know, uh, we have to, we have, we have not, we, we cannot believe that wealth or position, you know, can make us. It can't. It can't. <clears throat> um, deliverance and safety come only from God. <clears throat> you know, so, um, well, you know, position, it cannot give you security. It cannot give you security and protection. It can't be secure. You can't, you can't um, think of you in your own strength, you know, that you, you can't think that you're powerful. And you, you in your own strength. Well, I'm straight. I'm good. I, I'm this and I'm that. Ain't nothing going to come my way. They'll never say, well, nothing's not going to come your way. You know, the only one can block bullets and sickness is God. You know, it's God. You know, so this is the time that God has set Esther in the right position and at the right time. You know, see, a lot of time, you know, just like she went there as a beauty queen, thinking that's all they're going to be. That's just all, I just got to be pretty. That's all, that's all she thought she was going to be. You know, not knowing that God had positioned her there for a reason you, you know god do things for a reason you you wasn't just there for to just to be beauty you know he's positioned her there for that reason because god can see and hear everything that they was talking he knew this was gonna come up you know so that's why he already had it planned for this guy to meet her cousin we looking for a beauty patch but that's not really what god wanted her to be now, sometimes you might apply for something, you know, and you think that is it. And a lot of times God will say, no, that's not it. I just need you to get your foot in this door right here. You know, it's something else going to come your way, what I need you to do. You know, and sometimes we just got to get our foot in there, you know, and you know, you apply for something. You think that's it. Okay, I'm going to be on this job, okay. Okay, I, I, you know, a lot of times you, you get ready to the next level and, and just go on and on. And you thinking you went there for that one position. Like Esther. Esther went there and thought she was just going to be a beauty queen. Not knowing she was positioned there for a reason for this time. For this time. You know. So, <clears throat> he telling her, if you remain solid at this time. You know, so see now. You know, he telling Esther all these things. You know, he telling Esther all these days. Remember, she waited 30 days. She have not talked to the king yet. You know, so that's why the cousin said, you can keep on being silent. You know, this is what, you know, 
God name and never brought up. But he still re respect God. You know, even though God name and never came up. Now he telling her, you know, you allow 30 days to pass. You know, you keep on being silent. Don't keep being silent. You know, he said, don't keep being silent at a time like this. You know, because if you keep being silent, silence, and, 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 and this time is threatening on all our people, you know, and he said it's going to affect your people also. Remember, you are a Jew. You know, so that's why she got to let her husband know about her background. Because when he told her, don't tell him that you're Jewish. Don't, don't tell him nothing about your background. But now, you know, you want the king to help, then she got to tell him her background. You know, so for a time like this, all Jews in her family, you know, will be perished. And that's what he's saying. If you keep being silent, not only all our people, the Jews, your family also. You know, so whoever know that that you will have have to come, you know, to your uh, uh, position. You know, you see, mind if I tell her. We never know. We never know that you was going to have to come to this kind of position. You know, I said, you had some beauty um, passion. You know, and so now you, you got to take a raw position. You know, she didn't upgrade just that fast. You know, upgrade just that fast for such a time like this. For a time like this. You know, in a lot of time, you know, she thinks it's a coincidence. She wouldn't apply for a beauty queen. You went and applied for a, a, a secretary, file clerk, and next thing you know, you you upgrade. That was God doing. God just needed you to get your foot in that door, you know, and so he could keep on upgrading you up and up. He needed Elsa to get her foot in that door. Well, she know this man was going to come along, you know, so God know this man was going to come along and talk about, I, I'm gonna, I want to kill all your people, you know, and just like I put out the last time, God couldn't let that run his plan, you know, because Jesus got to come along behind it. Cause you know Jesus is a Jew, you know. So, <clears throat> so she, she about to sit in a royal position, now, you know, royal position, you know, for a time like this. So after the degree, you know, to kill the Jews was given Mordecai and Esther could have this pair, you know, decided, you know, when this decision, when this, when this came up. You know, it supposed to be just about Monica. I, 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 I want to kill you. But he got so mad with Monica. He said, you know what? I'm not only going to just gonna kill you. All your people. You know, so if this was decided. If they were only decided just on the money itself, you know, they would have not got involved. You know, and some people like that, they'll just deal with themselves. What happened? Oh, okay. It's, it's not my cousin. Oh, okay. You know, and they, they just they forget about it. You know, just dealing with all the people. Some people turn their back on like, no, I'm not dealing with that. You know, but Monica was concerned about all the people because he he it was supposed to be just about him. And I didn't want to kill all the people, putting all the people in his drama. He felt it back. And then Esther didn't ask no question. You know, she wanted to help everyone. It just took all the time. You know, she had she took. 30 days, you know, that's what Monica said, you know, it's been 30 days in the past, you still being silent. I need you to go talk to the king. You know, so decided that if they would have, you know, uh, despair, decided to save only themselves, you know, or just wanted for God to intervene. You know, so, um, <clears throat> we don't know what, 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 uh, Esther was thinking about. You know, either she was thinking about herself, uh, either she was thinking about if God was going to intervene. You see what I'm saying? So she had two options that she was thinking about because she took 30 days before she could do anything. You know, so instead, they saw that God had placed them in, placed them there in that position. You know, see, they, even though God wasn't mentioned in here, in this, in this package, but Monica, he realized, because he said, he, he realized you know, that God put you in this position. You can't be silenced. You know, God put you in this position here. You know, so you you got to you got we got to take action. You know, it's it, it's not on the fact that you know all the Jews, also your family's in the mix of that too. 
you, you know so he said he said god had placed them in their position you know for a purpose so they size the moment in the act <clears throat> you know it came to monica monica and he had to talk to elsa elsa got to talk to king you know but elsa still putting everything in motion you know she in her raw position her raw is thrown you know she was a beautiful king now you got a beautiful king is is acting you know a beautiful king thinking thinking on her toes you, you, you see what I'm saying? She, she ain't asked no question, but she had to take a little moment, 30 days moment, you, you know, and she gonna, she gonna talk to the king, you know, but my, Mordecai had to let her know, you being silent, you know, but God placed you here. God placed you here for a reason, for a time like this here. You know, so we got to, we got to, we got to jump on this here. We got to act on this here. You know, so God had placed her there for such a time like this. And God is not specific mentioned, you know, in the book of Esther. But it is obvious that Monica expected, you know, a divine deliverance. You know, he 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 wanted, he expected a divine deliverance. Because, you know, he, he likes, um, Esther, you can't be silent. You know, we got to jump on this thing. You know, if we don't jump on this, this man here going to kill all our own people, including your family. You know, so Esther and Mordecai had believed in God, you know, care because they act at the right time. They act at the right time, you know, because, you know, God deal with divine time, you know. So God used them to save his people, you know, that's God people, that's God chosen people, the Israelites. You know, so now Esther replied to Mordecai. He said, "Go get all the people together, get all the Jews together, get all the Israelites, get them all together, all the Israelites who are in um Sala, you know, and fast, fast from it." Now she tells them to fast. Now she didn't took a 30, 30 days break now. So now she coming and and fast, and she and she said, "Do not eat or drink, you know, for three days." You know, and night or day, and I am the attendant also will fast as you do. Now, her and the attendant also gonna fast for three days. Now, she said she's gonna come back in three days. You know, so now when this is done, she said, I will go to the king, and even though it's against the law, remember, she made that law. Now, it's about to fall back on her. She said, even though against the law, if I perish, I perish. Because, see, she got to be summoned. The, the, uh, to go see the king, you know, so you got to be careful sometimes when you make up rules and stuff because sometimes you fall back on your own self, you, you know, she said she, she didn't want nobody to disturb the king because she was going to talk to him, but she took 30 days and never had talked to him yet, you know, but now she ready after the three days is up, she's going to be ready to talk to the king, she said it might put her to death dealing on the law that was in place. You know, so remember, she made out this law. If anyone sees the king without being summoned, will be perished, will be put to death. You know, so Esther is calling for a fast. You know, Esther was asking the Jews to pray for God's help on her dangerous mission. Now, she, she realized this is a mission. She realized it's from God. You know, and when they fast, that means praying. You know, so she know every situation she deal with, you know, she fast and they pray. You know, she told them, y'all pray, pray to God. Y'all fast. There's no eating and no drinking for three days, you know. So she knew, you know, what she had to do, you know, first. First she was fast, said that's fast, and let's pray for three days, you know, before she speak with the king. Now remember, she never told him that she is a Jew. So that's why she got to talk to him first about her background first before she even tell him about, you know, her people. You know, so she need his help. And she also knew it was cast her it was uh it would cost her, her life. You know, if I perish, I perish. You know, now Easter asked to have to fast but she said fast for three days. You know, and before, you know, she speak with the king. And she gave this instruction to Monica to pass on to all the Jews. Remember, she talking to the she talking to Monica. You know, so Monica got to deliver this, you know, to the Israelites. You know, now she wants y'all to fast. 
you need y'all to fast. She needs y'all to don't eat, don't drink for three days. And she also gonna do it along with y'all. And she go, she gonna be back on the end of the three days. So now Malachi had went away. He carried out all Esther instruction. You know, now Esther has stepped in as a queen. She stepped in as a queen at the right time for God to use her to help her people. To help her and his people, you know, and family in a time like this. You know, now she she did not know what was going on. You know, her cousin said they have a, a position open for a uh, for beauty queen. You know, and like, and she went there, applied for it, and got it. And then this situation, you know, she was placed there for a reason for this situation to come up and be directed to her. You know, that's why they had to get the witcher to all... Uh, the uh, other queen out and put Esther in because God wanted Esther to do this here. You know, God wanted Esther to do this here. You know, and that just like any one of us. You know, you go apply for a job. You know, uh, next thing you know, you know, uh, next thing you know, you know, got up to another position. That happened to me before Katrina hit. Started um security. You know, I started out as security. You know, next week, you know, of uh, manager. Next, the, the next week of lieutenant. You know, so God work in mysterious ways. And you think it's a coincidence? Or you think you did that on your own strength? Well, I got this race. Well, I got this promotion. No, you, you ain't got nothing. It's God touch people hard to give you things. God gave us promotion. God gave us races. You know, we don't do that on our own strength. You know, so as a step in, as a queen, thank it. That was the position she was going to stick with, you know, at the queen at the right time, you know, for God to use her to help his people, you know. So, uh, she was placed there for a reason. She placed there for a reason, not just to be a beauty queen, but to take care of this mission. And she realized it was a mission. She realized it was from God, you know. So, God see all, you know, and he know this time was coming. See, God already know the beginning to the end. He already know this time was coming. You know, when you see, I do my research. You know, they say this was planning out a whole year a whole year ago before Elsa even would come to be queen. You know, so, so this was a plan a whole year ago. It's not in the Bible. It's in uh, uh, the study Bibles and uh, other research that I do. You know, it was planned a whole year ago. You know, so when the time got close, you know, he got in touch uh, with somebody to meet up uh, with her cousin. You know, let them know they got a position he about to be uh, about to be open for a really quick. So everything start falling in motion, start falling in place. You know, you know, God plan gonna fold in place. You know, and so next thing you know, she think that she gone there to apply for a beauty queen and think that was it. You know. But she was placed there for a reason, and God see all, and He know all. He know this time was coming. He know this time was coming. Esther fast for three days. You know, she prayed before she sees the king. You know, she had she had to have a clear mind. You know, she had to have a clear mind to talk to her king. Cause remember, remember, she married him, and not tell him that she was a Jew. You know, so she don't know how he going to take that. She don't know if he going to really be on her side or what. That's the change she had to take, you know. And she better do like my Mordecai said. You better get on your knees. You better beg. You better plead, you know, because you already told a little bitty, fitty lie. You didn't tell him all your background about you are a Jew. You are an Israelite. So she got to let him know she is an Israelite. That my people need to be saved. Can you help me? You know, so this story, you know, I, I love the book of Esther, you know, so this story is going to go on and on. And the next, um, the next one going to be Esther request to the king. She finally going to get in there to talk to the king. And I will come back with y'all later with that next story. You know, we're going to pretty much do this whole book of uh, Esther, you know. So, uh, um, Monica finally told her, you know, why he distressed her. You know, tell them everything that's going on. And Esther ready to jump in, but she got silent. You know, she got scared a little bit. She waited 30 days. You know, she didn't want nobody to come and distract her, but she never went in there to talk to the king. 
know, so my father came. You never talk to the king, you know. You know, you being silent, you know, just a time for others to jump in. You know, you have to realize God placed you here for this moment, you know, and we got to jump on it. You know, she was scared and panicking, you know, she waited 30 days. And then when she um, gathered them, the Israelites together, she still waited another three days. Oh, okay, we're going to fast. We're going to fast for three days. And I'll be back on, on, on the end of three days, you know, so she preparing herself but she don't know how the king gonna take everything in you, you know so we i'm gonna come back with you what else the request to the king she finally gonna enter the room and tell him everything you know about her and whatever was going on with her people you know so that's all the word i have for you today and uh, y'all have a blessed safe day and i see y'all on the next video